Well, today is National Day of Unplugging, a chance to carve out precious time to unplug and relax and reflect and connect with loved ones. And one way to unplug is some fun crafts for kids, for adults and, I mean, everyone in between, really. Yes. Here with more is Lindsay Pierce from the Craft Studio. Welcome, Lindsay. Good to have you Hi. here. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you so much. Yeah, I love crafting. Yay. So we got a lot of things to cover, so let's yes. jump right in. Let's start got first it. with candle painting. Okay, this is a big TikTok trend. Okay. And I I experimented with it and found it was so fun and easy. So this one for grown-ups, I, yeah. I wouldn't do this with kids, but for grown-ups, you light the colored tea lights uh -huh. and then you use a paintbrush and as the wax melts, you paint with the colored wax. Oh my it God. turns out amazing. I did a floral one, my initials, they look store-bought beautiful candles. It's awesome. What a, a fun thing to do, but also a fun little gift to give Yes, someone, you can too. buy a bunch of bulk ones and do them and save them as gifts. And also, you can use acrylic water-based paint. So for kids, they can make them for grandparents or teachers' gifts, and it's so fun. You can make a bunch, and then you know how you're searching for a gift? It's a Always. good thing to have waiting in the wings. So. Yes, you need to have a little gift box Yeah, and look at how it's somewhere. like so relaxing. And all you, you, even polka dots, you can make simple hearts. It's so much fun. Oh, I love right? that. So cute. That is, and so what yes. is this? This is the acrylic yep, water-based paint? this is the acrylic water-based paint, which is totally safe for kids to do, and the wax is really fun for like adult paint or wine, like craft. Yeah. And wine. Okay, next we um we have for tweens or teens, they're very into the self-care yes. right now. It's all over social media. Yes. So we can make our own like scrubs and stuff at yes. home. Yes, and safe ingredients. So I have a nine-year-old and all their friends are wanting to go buy like the products that are not yes. necessarily good for them. Because you don't know what's in them. Yes, and this is safe. It's so easy to do. For example, we have the scrub. It's a lavender sugar scrub and it's so nice to have especially in the winter months and it's yes. sugar you have in the pantry uh -huh. you pick out an essential oil I love the lavender but you could do Two. fun ones for kids like cotton candy oh, and it's they just have cotton candy yes though. isn't that amazing <laughs> and then a little safflower oil which honestly it's not even an exact science it's how much you how you like your scrub yeah I have all um, of this at my house right, right now including the safflower oh, oil. and then you can get the little stickers and design labels it's so much fun and then it's a nice gift and it's, you know what's in it, and it's great. Oh, I love that. I mean, it, and so it doesn't really matter what age. Like, I have a oh. six-year-old who now wants to start doing self-care. Yeah, and I'm like, it's a little like, early. What? <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, bath bombs are a big hit. Easy to find the ingredients, and you use the ornaments that they make, um, people will use for holiday yeah, time, for sure. and you use them as your mold. And I love with my girls, of course, with a grown-up, use the microwave and you heat up beeswax, which you can get at health food stores. Yeah. And you add, I added a little raspberry to it and some lip color. And it's, again, a great gift. It's so much fun. They get so yes. excited. And Did I you add regular raspberries to that? I added a flavor that you would put with cake decorating or candy making. Oh, right? Oh, Isn't yes. that fun? Oh, I have that in strawberry. Yeah. Okay, great. So I'm cool. going to try so that, you can too. Try it. Okay, so now we're talking about marbling, which you're okay. doing with nail polish, which I never thought of before. Yes. And I'm going to tell you my truth I was scared of hydro dipping and I didn't know what it was and and a, about a couple months ago we got a request at the studio and I played around with nail polish it's so easy you need a tub warm water and the nail polish floats to the surface and then you take whatever you're dip dipping and you just dip it in and it sticks on there and you can put it in the dishwasher or you can Fantastic. use it on a vase it's really really easy last by, but not least we've got paint by numbers I love paint by numbers love paint by yeah. number there's a lot of websites who you can order custom paint by numbers I found some cute pictures on Instagram of oh you love God, these so cute. but they also let you preview and you can print them out for free and see if you like it and oh. then you can order a canvas to make a real one which is oh, a great unplugging that. activity. What a great idea, and I love when, whenever you can make something custom and give it to somebody and then you put, do like a little, I always think about gifts to give people too, yeah. but just put it in a little it's cute so thing. Thoughtful. But you've got some some kindness crafting yes. too. I love teaching kids the value of crafting for others and doing things that you love for other people. We have at the Craft Studio the Kindness Crafting Club, and coming up next Friday the 8th, we have benefiting Riley's Way, which is an incredible kindness-based organization. You register, all proceeds go to that, and the kids will craft for others, which is really nice. What a great idea. Well, hope you're all unplugging for the rest of the day, but before you do, go check out thecraftstudionyc.com or follow them on social media for more. Lindsay, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Yeah.